2008, we got one of the biggest surprises ever. Not only did it skyrocket a career, a dead career of a great actor, but uh, it was a lot of fun. It was inventive and cool and made you really excited about the superhero genre was headed. I'm talking about the film Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr., great cast and a lot of fun and surprisingly really amazing character development. You really got a sense of this character and how he became Iron Man and as an audience member I never felt like I had to know the character before. I never read a comic book about him. I didn't I felt like I didn't have to and that was so great about the original Iron Man. Once the movie was over, you know, we stuck around and I don't remember ever hearing that there was going to be something at the end. We just stuck around, you know, because we just had a really good time going to the film. And all of a sudden, at the end, after all the credits, we got a little mini movie. And this mini movie came out of nowhere and it had a big actor, Samuel L. Jackson, playing Nick Fury, I believe his name is. And then we got the sense that we were going to get this amazing superhero movie of great Marvel characters. And granted, I'm not a big comic book geek. I hardly ever read comic books once in a while. I'm more interested in how these great stories, there's so many great stories in comic books and graphic novels, and how they become movies. And that's the medium I really care about. But I do appreciate the, the source material, and it's important that it's around and, it, and that it exists. Then we got Iron Man 2 and did the same thing. And even though I didn't like the Incredible Hulk, we got that. So we got that promise that something was coming together. In 2011, we got Thor and Captain America, and then they all had their little stories. What I mean is they had all these little endings that were like, okay, this is all built up. We're going to get this amazing movie, The Avengers. So I was really excited about this new 2012 Avenger film. I don't know if Hollywood's ever done all this great build-up before. It may have. I can't think of it right now or recall anything. I don't remember all of these endings to films that all kind of came together and, and built up this all this hype for this movie that I just witnessed. If it has, let me know. I don't remember. So that was really exciting. I was really hyped up to see this movie. I had a lot of expectations. I mean, you know, I, I loved Iron Man 1 and 2, and I enjoyed Thor and Captain America, and I liked the character of the Hulk, even though I didn't like the Incredible Hulk, 2008's Incredible Hulk. I definitely prefer 2003's Hulk over any Hulk that I've ever seen. I know I'm alone on that, and someday I, I hope that I can maybe explain why. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I appreciate that all this setup has been given and all these characters are going to come together in this exciting story. So I went into this movie really hyped up and really excited. I had seen the trailers, so it wasn't the trailer's fault if I had all this hype or excitement. It was just the movie itself. And I have to be perfectly honest with you, and I just want to let you know that this is just my opinion. I don't have a problem with anybody who disagrees with me, as long as they do it in a very uh, positive manner. This is just my opinion about the Avenger film. I'm giving it a slight recommendation. There's a lot of good stuff in here, especially the ending. The ending of the fight sequence in New York was intense, it was exciting, it was shot really well, the special effects were really great, but the beginning was so underwhelming. I just I didn't care. The villain of Loki was slightly interesting in the first film of Thor, the Thor film, but as the villain in this movie, I just wasn't excited. I don't think it's the actor's fault. I don't know. I don't think it's the filmmaker's fault. It's just that character alone. I didn't grasp onto him. I didn't care. And I think your heroes are as only as good as your villain. And sadly, because we had this under underwhelming villain, these heroes that we had grown up and loved, and I still lo I still love these characters. And it's great that they're all back. You know, we got Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson. We got Jeremy Renner, and now we have a new Hulk played by Mark Ruffalo. So he's really the only new person other than you know the characters we've seen a little bit of. So I like all these characters. I have to say my favorite of all of them is still Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. is so creative and so funny. He's, he, is, he is Tony Stark. 
I'll never see anybody else. I mean, if they change the character, if they change the actor, I'm never going to see a different Tony Stark. I'm going to see Robert Downey Jr. He is just that good. And I liked Mark Ruffalo, but the sad thing, the only time I really liked Mark Ruffalo was when he was the big Hulk guy, and he probably wasn't even doing any of that stuff. I don't know. It'd be it'd be great if if uh, he did all the motion capture. That'd be great if Mark Ruffalo did all the motion capture. I don't know that yet. But him as a character, as as uh, Banner, he just was so bland. He wasn't. There was all the you have all these great characters, and I felt like nobody had anything interesting to talk about. The dialogue was just standard and contrived. I feel like it just moves the story, and it doesn't do anything more for the actual movie. Uh, granted, it looks really good. I I wanted a little more action. I, I do like dialogue. I love dialogue, and I love scenes where they take the time to to have these scenes of dialogue. But I could not care less of what they were talking about. Sometimes I didn't understand what this whole bad thing was, and these bad guys that came from this other world, this Thor world, or whatever they call it, I can't remember. Something else I want to talk about that kind of makes me a little upset is that I do not like when you feel like you have to have watched... <laughs> Sorry, watch. <laughs> you felt like you had to have read the book or read the comic book to go and see the movie. What was great about Iron Man is that I felt like I never had to do that. And with the Avengers, there was all these little things that they were talking about that I felt. What did I have to read up on this? I don't under. I, I I'm sorry. I I'm, I apologize. I just don't get what you guys are talking about. I want to. I want to care. I really want to care, but. I guess I should have done my homework and, you know, went and read all these comic books or went online and started, you know, doing all the stuff. I, I, I don't think that should happen. I think you should be able to go and see a movie and not know anything about it and be taken away onto a magical world and fantastical world or a real world and be blown away. And I can't say, in all honesty, that I was blown away by this movie. To me, this was not the film the fans deserved. Now, a lot of fans are going to love this movie because it does have the action. It has the characters doing things and doing that. So it does have that. So I will never be upset if anybody loves this movie or enjoys this movie because I slightly enjoyed it. There's a lot of good stuff in there. The Hulk, when the Hulk becomes the Hulk, he's given a lot of stuff to do. And uh, when Tony Stark was just go flying around the world, it looks beautiful. I really don't want to say anything against the filmmakers, because I know the filmmakers have lots and lots of fans, but I was expecting so much more, especially from the director of this film. He showed me in his previous movie that he can bring all these characters, to bring all kinds of characters together and give them all equal time, and in this film I felt that that wasn't happening. Thor didn't have anything much to do. He felt like, to me, this is just me, but it felt like... In, like the Thor movie never really happened. It, it just there now the humor was gone from the that Thor character that I loved. For me, the best parts of the film were Tony Stark, and when the Hulk was the Hulk, I really liked the way the Hulk looked and all those action pieces. The very very end was really intense. That ending of the movie felt like finally we're giving something to. I felt like I was actually given something to hold on to and get excited about. So. Yes, I have lots of problems with the film, and it wasn't the w it wasn't the movie that I was expecting. I wish there was a lot more going for it. You know, maybe it's just you know we just have to have all this set up so we can get the sequel, and the sequel is going to be amazing and be intense and exciting. I hope. I can only hope, but that shouldn't be the case. That should not be the case. and I can't help but feel just a little cheated, a little disappointed by this movie. I really wanted to enjoy it. I mean, there's a lot to enjoy. There is a lot, but I felt it was very underwhelming and not as intense as I was hoping. I didn't have any emotion when things. some, some of these characters go through these things, and I'm not going to give anything away, but there were some times where I wanted to have emotions and I just, uh, I felt so empty inside. I do want to say, without giving anything away, that if you stay till after the credits, you're going to get the best scene ever shot in the whole film. 
<laughs> in my opinion, is the best shot scene in the whole film. <laughs> and I don't know if they went back. They were, there was this rumor that they were going to go back and shoot something. That was great, and I wish that the whole movie was that like that last scene. Also, another thing I want to bring up before I stop and move on with my life is the fact that one thing I don't like when I go to the movies and see the movie on the opening night, and maybe I should just stop, I mean, granted, you get to see it with all the fans. You know, there are scenes when just a character will show up, and they'll be clapping and cheering, and they're giving out dialogue, and I'm like, shut up, I want to hear what he has to say. You know, Marvel movies, um, we're giving a really great cameo by the awesome Stan Lee. And I hope he does a cameo every time there's a movie until he sadly passes away. Because it's great, and he has a cameo in this movie, and he actually has some dialogue, and guess what happens? He shows up on screen for a few seconds, or a few minutes, or whatever, 30 seconds, and this crowd went crazy. And I was like, shut up! I want to hear what the master has to say! I want to hear what he has to say, and you're not letting him talk! <laughs> it made me so upset. I don't mind. You know, if you want to clap at the beginning for the movie to start, and you want to clap at the end, and if there's some big action sequence, and you want to clap at that action sequence. But please, please don't clap. When you see a character that you love, please don't, because he might have something important that might have something to do with the story. I don't know, maybe all those scenes that people were going crazy would have made the experience more exciting for me. It just took me out of it. But in the end, I'm giving it a passable grade because it looks really good. Some of the characters seem really fleshed out while others don't but those I tried to latch on to those characters especially Tony Stark because he was really fleshed out and you cared about him and he was funny and he had a lot of great lines so I tried to focus on that and the production value and the special effects the 3D looked good it was decent enough it was passable and the last you know action sequence in New York was really intense I have no idea what they're fighting I have no idea who they're going to fight. If they make a sequel, maybe I, maybe I'll just do some homework and start reading some comic books. Maybe I need to because I believe comic books and graphic novels and geek culture is very very important. So I'm I maybe I'll just do some homework next time. So when they make Avengers 2, I'll got everything and maybe I'll enjoy the movie more. It's definitely worth your time, especially if you're a fan and you do like action because there's some action, a lot of dialogue unnecessary dialogue that goes nowhere, but there is a lot of action. I'm going to give Marvel's The Avengers three stars. I wish it was stronger. I wish it was more intense. It was more exciting. You just needed to probably shave off like a good 20 to 40 minutes of the film. Then it would have maybe been the best film, but it was, just, it was a little too long for me too. But I'm still excited about Marvel. It doesn't really take anything away. I'm excited where Iron Man's going to go and the Hulk. I mean, all these characters are going to definitely have more movies in this franchise. And I love franchises. Franchise is going to go places and it's going to get more exciting. And I hope that there's an Avengers 2. There's a lot of people at this screening. Tons of people. I think every theater at this theater, 26 theaters, I believe, were full of people. It was crazy. I made some new friends, hung out with some old friends. We really had a good time, even though the movie wasn't what I was ex wanted it to be. You can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter at Movie Man Chad, and please comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you totally disagree with what I've just talked about, or you agree with what I've talked about, please comment below. Like this video and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I appreciate your time, and I, I want to thank everyone who's been so supportive to me. And I also want to, before I before I go anywhere, I want to shout out, you should also check out WeLiveFilm.com. The great movie man Menzo, I had a chance to talk to him uh, today. It is today because I saw the midnight, no, it's, I talked to him yesterday because I saw the midnight showing of the film, so it's like in the morning right now. I got a chance to talk to movie man Menzo, thanks to Skype, and we had a really good conversation. I, I want to highly recommend that you go to we Live Film on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. Support this great community. And last but not least, I want you also to check out Big Gabe at Stuff Burrito Entertainment. Type that in on YouTube. I'm going to put links below. You can check that out in the description box. You know, he's really great. I've actually had the opportunity to talk to him. And I also realized that me and Big Gabe don't live very far. So I'm hoping to get together with him and doing a video. 
All right, uh, the next big movie, I think, is uh, Tim Burton, Dark Shadows. Really excited about that. Some way or another, we'll have to see. I'm a big fan of Tim Burton. So I'll see you next time, and uh, I'm ready to go see another movie, even though it's... Oh, my gosh, what time is it? It's almost 4 in the morning. Man, i got to get to bed.